guys, I got some more thin privilege crap. <laughs> I, I know you guys love thin privilege crap. Well, I got more of it. And this one is whinier than ever. So I think we should just get started. Please be considerate of your fat friend's needs and limitations. <laughs> do fat people worry about others? I mean, why do I got to worry about them all the time? <laughs> what do I get out of all this? How about you just stay home? There, your needs and limitations are considered on your couch watching Dr. Phil and leaving everyone else alone. Fat bodies are heavy to carry around. I move about the world slower than my thin peers. And I've often had to choose between pushing myself to keep a pace that takes absolutely all my energy or being left behind when walking in a group. <laughs> so they got to stop. They got to they got they got to take all day to walk 10 feet because of you. It's not their problem. It's your problem. Why are you blaming them? I don't always feel safe to ask that everyone walk slower. <laughs> What are they going to do? Beat you up? <laughs> what are they going to do? The worst they could do is ignore you. Because there's a prevalent idea in society that fat people need to exert themselves as much as possible at all times in the service of weight loss. <laughs> I've never heard this. I never heard this prevalence or whatever the hell. And that we never really need rest. Therefore, it's a good thing whenever we're exhausted. Fat people and thin people alike are taught that fatness is a flaw. <laughs> well, what's it good for? Other than sweating all the time and stinking. <laughs> and cracking toilet seats. And filling septic tanks. One that fat people ourselves are to blame for. So we're not entitled to any accommodation or consideration. Well, maybe you need new friends. Maybe this is your friend's problem. <laughs> you can't blame thin people because you, you can't walk fast. <laughs> a friend of mine who was fat recently told me about a dinner party she went to where the chairs were far too small for her and she was sitting very uncomfortably. <laughs> so now the, now uh, her thin friends have to buy novelty sized cartoon chairs now. <laughs> Oh, uh, our, t our dining room will just have bean bags. <laughs> we'll all sit on really big bean bags. How's that? That'll look nice. After the meal, she politely suggested moving the party to the couch. But the others didn't want to. She spent another couple hours of unnecessary pain and didn't tell them about it. Well, that's her fault. <laughs> How is that other people's fault? She didn't say anything. <laughs> I bet it sounded like this. Hey, come on, move to the couch now. My asshole is killing me now. My asshole. <laughs> I bet that's what it sounded like if she said something. I love my thin friends. But some of them just don't realize that I weigh probably twice as much as them. <laughs> so that's their fault. And yet I balance it all on the same size feet. And carry it on the same size bones. Yeah, but you eat eight of the same size plates they do. I'm like if they had a whole other them to carry around at all times. Why would that not have an impact on how I function? Why would that be your friend's problem? Is the real question. Why should they give a shit? They got their own problems. Please take us into consideration when we're part of activities. <laughs> Ask us, just don't ask them on any activities. Look at this. Look at the headache this is causing. <laughs> Someone want, just wanted to take a, a short hike through the woods and they're getting yelled at. And they didn't even do nothing. Ask us which activities work and which don't. I know what activity works, just not calling you and letting, letting you stay home. Adjust the pace so no one has to be dry heaving and sweating barrels on what's supposed to be a casual walk. You can't even casual walk. <laughs> if you can't even casual walk, you got more problems than thin people. Make sure venues have seating that fits us. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your job. How, did the, how should they know? 
<laughs> um, uh, yes, I would like to have a fun day with you, but please call all the places we're going and make sure they have giant-sized cartoon seats for me, please. <laughs> about go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can't believe these people. The nerve. <laughs> Make it safe for us to speak up if we need something. That's your job. Who are you yelling at? When we do, don't treat us like we're the problem. <laughs> well, I mean, if you guys shit every 10 minutes, it kind of is your problem. You know, if you're constantly shitting <laughs> and pissing, whatever you guys do. That's your problem. You're annoying. Finally, yes, we have heard of losing weight. Even those of us who might, and many never will, whether you like it or not, won't do it on a moment's notice. If your response to fat people deserve accommodations is, what if they weren't fat though? You're playing a fantasy game. It's pointless. We are fat, and we are here, and we do partake in society. Work with that. <laughs> you could feel the greasy smugness off that paragraph. <laughs> well, you do partake in a society, but you do complain the whole fucking time. The whole time. This does not sound fun at all. And then we got a closing uh, comment by one of the, the great editors or whatever the fuck of this stupid website. Also, it's like nearly impossible to lose weight. Your body always wants to gain it back. Some people are... Are, some people just are fat, and there's no answer to dealing with that other than to build a world where they are accommodated and treated with respect. <laughs> you want to say to these fat fucks, who is treated with respect nowadays? <laughs> no one's fucking treated. Why do you deserve to be treated uh, with respect when no one else is? What's so great about you? Oh, just, they're just awful people. See, like the the, the, the being fat is just a symptom. <laughs> just terrible. Terrible people. Where the hell was I? It literally, sh it literally should not be that hard a conclusion to come to. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta do everything. You gotta wipe their ass for him too, apparently. You even gotta wipe their ass. Well, guys, that was awful to read. <laughs> I mean, funny, but awful at the same time. Thanks for watching. And hey, I'll see you uh, later or something. Blah, blah, blah.